Good morning, everybody. Well, certainly it's good morning where I am, as I just took a, take a few moments, sorry, just to respond to some queries that cropped up at our open morning on Saturday. And firstly, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the 180 families that joined us for tours throughout the morning. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a flavour of the wonderful academic enrichment opportunities that we have available to families here at Hackley Cathy High School. We know that the event was very, very well received by our visitors and I, for one, was delighted that I could share with you a little bit of Hagley and what it is we have to offer. But I also know that at this time, as we move well into October now and the, the deadline date for applications of the 31st of October approaches, I just thought I'd take a short minute or two, just remind uh, families who are applying to Hagley about the process that you need to go through in order to make that admission a successful one. So first and foremost, if I could just share with you uh, some information specifically about admissions. So a reminder that for admissions to Hagley for September 2021, all parents have to complete your application online. So remember, regardless of where you live, you do that through your own local authority. If you don't apply direct to us, it's online application through your LA. So contact your local authority to make your application. But of course, because we're a Catholic school, we also require a complementary, um, sorry, a supplementary form to be completed and a copy, not the original, just a copy of your child's baptismal certificate if you are Catholic. Um, and it's really, really important that you get that supplementary form. You can see a copy of it on my slide. Um, it's important you get a copy of that directly into school before the 31st of October with a copy of the baptismal certificate. Now you can either post that to us at Hagley Catholic High School, or you could you can drop that off and pass it on to our admissions officer, Mrs Millard, who will be happy to receive that from you. You can find a copy of the supplementary application form uh, online at our, on our website, uh, and if you just go there, you'll be able to uh, get to that, and I'll, I'll show you in a moment exactly where that is. Um, just a reminder that, like all schools, we have a public admission criteria, um, and our criteria will, is not based on the order of preference. So whether you put us as one, two, or three, that has no relevance to the criteria. The criteria is the criteria that missed you. And I will say, if you are thinking of sending your child to Hagley, please do put us down as your first choice. Families who put us down as their second choice typically don't get allocated a place because we typically uh, in four out of the last five years have filled all of our places based on first choice applications. Um, we've got 190 places in year seven again this year, just like we have for the last five years. Um, and if you've got any queries whatsoever about the admissions protocol or the um, processes, please do contact school and ask for Mrs Millard, or you can email her at the address that's on the screen at the bottom now. Just to reiterate some of our admission criteria for you, and again, you can find this on the website, uh, but the page in front of you right now just outlines for you exactly the admission criteria, the order in which students are admitted to Hagley. So please, please do take a moment to have a look at that. Um, and this is just taken as a copy from some information that's on the website, which you'll be able uh, to see if you are to log on. And just so things are nice and easy for you, if you were to go onto the school website, uh, and I'll share that with you right now, just to make things really straightforward. So you should be able to see my own web page now. So I'm here in our admissions section. So I've gone to the, I've cropped up on the main page. So we're on the main page now. So I'm going to our school admissions, and you'll see on this page here, Okay, applying for a place 2021-2022. So some information there for you. And then all the supplementary documentation that you need is down the bottom here. So the supplementary information form from 2021 is this link here. If you click on that, that'll take you to the form that I showed you on the slide. Complete that, get that into us here at school by the 
31st of October. And if you require any other information that I've shared, you can find that here in our policy intake for 2021. So some more details there about how the process works is all available to you there. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you today about admissions. But I also thought I'd take an opportunity very briefly as we didn't have this opportunity as such, um, or as much as we might do in other years on Saturday morning when so many of you did come. Um, I thought I'd just take a moment just to remind families about transport. I know that transport can be something of a concern and a worry for some of our families who've made the choice for their children to come to us here at Hagley. Um, so if I was to just share with you again, I'll just share with you again a slide that just outlines a little bit about our uh, transport. So the vast majority of our children do come by buses or by train and in that sense we're very very lucky that those provisions are available to us and Tandy continued to be the coach company that was procured a number of years ago now to be tender to provide that service and there's information on the website about transport uh, for you to consider once you've uh, had your application uh, confirmed as being successful. But I should also reiterate that we have a fabulous working relationship with West Midland Rail and trains come in from the north and from the south directly onto the school site. I'm very lucky that sat here in my office as I speak to you, I can see the train station out of the window. Um, and the bonus for us is that once the students arrive on the train, they walk straight onto site through a dedicated footpath that leads the children straight onto our site morning and afternoon we make sure there's always staff there to meet and greet the students first thing when they arrive but also at the end of the day to make sure they get onto the train safely to make their way their way home and um, so that hopefully should reassure you a little bit about the level of care and attention that we give to our students that are here to make sure they're safe when they're traveling but again if you've got any queries about transport and traveling to and from Hackney, then you can again call school and ask to speak to Mrs Tyrrell or you can contact her at the email address that's on the screen right now. Now that really is just all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I do again thank you so much for coming on Saturday and thank you for the wonderful feedback we've had. If you weren't able to join us on Saturday for a tour I am sorry uh, that you weren't able to make it for whatever reasons they are and I'm equally sorry that in the current climate we can't offer anything else during school time like we would have, would have done in previous years. Um, but if you do have any queries, you can always contact me at school. I'm always very, very available to answer any queries by phone or by email. Um, but we do look forward to receiving your applications. I know that your sons and daughters will be very, very successful with us. We'll receive fabulous love, care and attention. A first rate academic education and have the warmth and the comfort of being in a faith-filled school with Christ right at the very centre. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. Do take good care of yourselves. Look forward to seeing you or meeting you in the future. Take care.